studio this morning, Regan Mickelson. She is with Information Referral Assistance Services and now in your 20th year with that organization, Regan. Yeah, yeah, I've been there for 20 years in some capacity, so... How did that all start for you? Um, it was actually, honestly, an accident. Um, I My sister-in-law worked and did some promo stuff for information referral and their golf outing. They were looking for a temp person. I applied. I actually applied for United Way. I, the, the director of information referral said she hasn't applied yet. I applied for the wrong thing. Um, so I went in thinking it was just going to be a temp, helping with fundraisers, and I just stuck. So. Well, there you go, and uh, you stuck good. That's great. <laughs> you, you mentioned golf, and we're yeah. going to be talking about a golf tournament. It's a month away, but we want to get the word out. Please tell us about it. Yeah, so um, we're having a golf tournament June 2nd at the Fulton Country Club. Um, fees to enter just for golf are 55 a golfer. Um, a foursome is $200. So then we have a whole sponsorship at $250, um, and then a corporate sponsorship for $500, which includes a whole sign and four golfers. Um, tee off is nine o'clock in the morning. It includes lunch. Um, there's a silent auction uh, at the end of the event, prizes, the whole bit. So um, it's a great event. It's really fun. And all the proceeds go right back into the community to help with the services that we provide. 18 holes, and it is a great score. It's a nine-hole layout, but it's flat. It's so flat. That, that, that is nice. <laughs> That's always good. And I understand this is a great moneymaker for you. Yeah, I mean... Um, we don't receive any state or federal money. So our fundraisers are really important. Um, and, and this really does bring in a, a good chunk of money for us to be putting back out in the, in the community. So um, it is our largest fundraiser and definitely our most important. So again, Friday, June 2nd, <laughs> how can they get in touch with you and maybe get be a whole sponsor? Or sure. Yeah, just give us a call. Um, reach out to me, email me, whatever. Um, our number is 243-5818. My email address is on our website, um, irasclinton.com. And you mentioned there's other opportunities for people to benefit your group outside of the golf tournament. Yeah, so we have a couple other things coming up before the golf tournament. Um, we have... Uh, May 13th is the postal worker food drive. Um, so all that food gets dropped off at our door. Um, last year, I can't remember the tons of food that we received, but it was a lot. Great. Um, all comes from community members, you know, as simple as just sticking an extra bag of, you know, something on your food, you know, with your mail and the workers pick it up and drop it off. So it's like easy for, for people to contribute. Yeah. Um, of course, they can contribute cash donations as well. Um, cash goes still goes quite a ways at the food bank, however, <laughs> not as much as it used to. Um, but we do see some of those discounted um, prices on things. And then on that same day, we are having our annual bike sale. So um, that will be from 11 to 12 in our front yard at uh, 219 First Avenue. Um, most bikes are $20. Uh, it's it's a really quick event, but um, I think we have about 100 bikes this year that we will have out for sale. Where do you get the bikes? So we get the bikes from the police department. It's a partnership with them. So, um, you know, they gather bikes through the year that have been abandoned. If nobody claims them in 90 days, then they're released to us, and then we sell them at the end of the year. Well, great time. Getting ready for summer. The kids yeah. are getting out of school. They're going to need a bicycle to move around, so right. that'll be outstanding. Tell us about Information <laughs> Referral Assistance Services. What is it that you all do and provide? So I always feel like, what don't we do? Because <laughs> it is kind of a wide range, especially since our merger with the Benevolent Society. Um, financially, though, we help with emergency rental assistance. We've been doing a lot of hotel sheltering. Um, we do utilities. We do the MedTree program, which is a partnership with Mercy One. They do a campaign through the, the holiday season to collect um, monetary donations for the cost of prescription medications. That comes to us, and then we allocate that throughout the year for people in need. Um, we do mobile food pantries. Uh, we do the Backpack Buddy program, which is a weekend food package program. We serve about 180 kids every weekend um, in the four elementary schools and the middle school here in Clinton. Um, I don't know who the kids are. It's a very private program. Um, the the kids are identified by like teachers and school counselors to be kids who would likely go without food over the weekend breaks without our help. Um, so they just throw me a number. Clausen's goes to the food bank. They're pre-packed there. Um, 
Claussens is nice enough to go to the food bank, get them for us every week, store them in their warehouse. My volunteers pick them up there and deliver them to the schools. You do so much good. It is great. So if people can benefit your organization again, how can they best do that? Um, you know, like I say, the monetary donations are, are fantastic because those go the the furthest for us. We're able to reach many more people that way, but we always take in food contributions as well. Um, our food pantry served 300% more people last year than the year before, and we're on track. We're even with what we did last year and this year. So um, I, I know that our numbers are going to be ex well exceeding what we did last year. And so um, I would say, you know, anything to help with the food pantry piece of our organization is really important. So again, May 13th, put some food out as uh, the most postal workers will be coming around. That'll benefit you. Got the bike sale that day as well. But the golf tournament, a great time, yeah. a lot of fun, and doing it for a good cause. Again, how can they get involved with the golf? Like I said, just give us a call. Um, I'm, I'm plugging in teams now, so uh, give us a call, 243-5818. Um, ask for me, and I'll get you put in there. All right. Thank you so much for coming in today. Awesome. Thank you. James and Amy invite you to Hook's Pub and Grill, and they encourage you to enjoy their beautiful beer.